Hi guys, uh, welcome to another review. And this time I'm going to review uh, Monsters Dark Continent movie. Um, this movie is a sequel, a kind of like sequel to Gareth Edwards uh, Monster movie, Monsters, uh, which was done on a low budget and sort of like that. And Gareth Edwards went on to direct Godzilla because of that movie. So the studio saw his name going up and so they want to take the opportunity and create this movie. Uh, sequel sort of to Monsters, uh, so they title it Dark Continent. So the movie is set in Iraq, uh, in in the Middle East. Uh, what happened is uh, after after finishing Monsters, uh, which is happened because of the alien crashing crash landed on Earth and infected um, Mexico. So in this movie, they show that the aliens also infected uh, Middle East. So that's the synopsis for the movie. Now, but the true, the reality is the movie is an uh, uh, allegory. It's like us uh, to comment, uh, commentary on the Middle East war. Uh, that, you know, like the Gulf War, the war on terror, uh, war on Afghanistan, that's it. Because they have insurgents, they mention it, no, they are fighting the insurgents and also the aliens. So, um, so that's basically what the background of the movie is about. Now, having said that, uh, my uh, as my view of it is basically uh, is it is try to be an action uh, battle movie, a uh, battle you know black battle of LA, uh, like Black Hawk Down, you know battle movie war movie, but it also try to be artistic so you you kind of get like um, Terrence Malick kind of feel in this movie so it's a mismatch of that and uh, Terrence Malick actually made a war movie which is called The Thin Red Line which is a semi art and semi action but it's mostly more in the middle with more philosophy um, yeah so what, let me start with the what's good about the movie, what I like about the movie. I want to say that the movie has a beautiful visual. It was shot beautifully. Um, um, it was artistic uh, in some places. Um, the CGI is good, surprisingly, because they, they have a lot more budget this time. So they, they, you see a lot more monsters than part one. I mean the prequel, I mean the previous movie, I'm sorry. Uh, so you use more CGI. But here's the bad, that's, that's only the good part. Okay? The bad part is like the movie uh, fail to achieve, to make you, f achieve, fail to entertain you. You know, the movie is not entertaining. Uh, it, it tries to be philosophical, but philosophical in a very vague way. Artistic, it is artistic in some ways, but uh, the message of the art is not translate translated properly. Um, yeah, this, this, the plot is problematic. The plot is problematic. The storyline is problematic. The acting is not memorable at all. So it was kind of like um, not a good experience for me when I watched this movie. I actually wanted to leave the cinema because it was so dull for a war movie is bad it's so dull it's so slow it's so artistic but in a in the hard to understand kind of way and you know the word here is mandarin mandarin m e a n d e r i n g mandarin which is like you know somebody who is lost and just walking with no direction. Yes, that, that, that is, is directionless. As a war movie, it lacks punch, it's boring. Uh, okay, to end this uh, this review, I would like to compare um, Monsters the Dark Continent to three other movies. So, I mean, with the kind of similar vibe that I think, similar vibe, um, and see how they is it is it bet, is the movie better than all these movies 
So I would like to compare this movie with Hurt Locker Basically because it has the same color and texture as Hurt Locker So clearly the cinema, the filmmaker try to copy Hurt Locker in terms of looks and visual So is it better than Hurt Locker? Unfortunately not because Hurt Locker has better acting and uh, more strong storyline uh, It's right to the point you know even though I would say the same thing, Her Locker is not my favorite movie But this movie is even worse than that Even though it tries to capture some of, some of the look and feel um, Second movie that I, I, I compare this to is Lone Survivor Which is, has the same kind of vibe It's not as good, it's not a good movie to my, I mean when I saw it But, the, this movie, The Monsters, is kind of like um, it's even worse than Lone Survivor it cannot beat Lone Survivor so because Lone Survivor even though I didn't like it but it was more it's more action packed <coughs> the story was very was tighter than this movie this movie was all over the place and lastly I want to compare this movie with Terrence Malley they tried to copy Terrence Malley uh, 13 Red Line with with the philosophical and the arty, as, arty kind of uh, messaging but it didn't work because uh it was so out there so vague and and the worst of all i mean it couldn't beat by by any measure the thin red line the thin red line is superb and you know this movie finally this movie is not it shouldn't be made for a cinema because it has the look and feel of a TV for a TV movie and uh, and it, that's how I feel it's, it's not for cinema and lastly I mean I mean saying lastly for what uh, and uh, another part is that the ending literally a letdown really really bad ending and which I, I was like huh that's how it ends uh, that's that's the ending uh, it was just bad just a bad movie that's all thank you for watching guys